Hey, what's up everyone? It's Mick from Camera Bits here with a very quick tip about how to safely edit images on a memory card in Photo Mechanic. Uh, you might find yourself in a situation where you've just shot an event, a wedding, and you maybe want to only copy the images from the card that you're going to want to edit. You don't want to ingest the entire card because you need to save space on your hard drive. Uh, do not add color classes or star ratings to files while they're on the memory card. Uh, but there is a way to do it to ingest just the images you want, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Um, first, for things first, there are two settings in Preferences that I'm going to want to change. In General Preferences, first of all, on Mount of Camera Disk, change this to Open as Contact Sheet, so that when I plug in a card, I'm going to see the contents of the card as a contact sheet. And then down in the Preferences for the Preview window, I'm going to deselect synchronized single selection between preview and contact sheet. What this does, if I deselect this, I'm able to do multiple selection of images from the preview window itself. And I'll show you why that's uh, helpful in just a second here. So I'm going to, with those changed settings, I'm going to pop in a memory card here. Big thanks to Kim Smith Miller, the wedding photographer who graciously allowed us to use some images in this demo. Thank you, Kim. All right, here's the contents of the card. Uh, this is the memory card. We can see um, this is the folder. Check the tab up here. This is the actual folder on the card. Um, remember, do not add star ratings or color classes to images while they're on the card. This is not safe. Um, you may fill up your card with extra data. It may start throwing errors at you. Um, not fun. So what we want to do is select these images and then only ingest the images that we've selected. Um, first of all, it's very easy to multi-select from the contact sheet. On a Mac, I hold down Command and I can do multi-select. Just click on images and I can select only the ones I want. Uh, on a PC, I believe, on a Windows machine, I believe you would hold down Control. Um, but yeah, holding down Command to do the multi-select or I can hold down shift to do a selection range that way. But we're using photo mechanic to cull and we want to actually look at the images to make some um, decisions on whether or not we want to keep it. So we're going to open up the preview window and because we deselected the synchronize option, we are now able to use these plus and minus keys where it says add photo to selected set. If you click the plus key, it's going to select the image and then allow you to move on to other images and select them as well without, and it won't deselect the image when you move on. And as with everything in Photo Mechanic, using the keyboard shortcut, for this case it's W, and it's going to make this a lot smoother and faster. So I'm going to have my fingers, my one hand is on the W key and my other hand is on the arrow keys, and I'm going to start selecting. When I see an image I like, I hit the W key and I use the arrow keys to move on to other images. I can go back and forth if I want. Use the arrow keys to advance between or move between images. And then when I see one I like that I want to, that I think is going to be a keeper, W. All right, W. When it comes here, oh, that's W, like that W. And so on. Hit escape, we're out of the preview window, back to the contact sheet, and you can see those are the images that are selected. Now, uh, just open up the ingest dialog uh, on a Mac OS machine, Command G. On a PC, Windows machine, Control G. Select from selection. We're going to be ingest from selection. We're just going to ingest the selected items from the con most contact sheet, this one. Uh, now we have all the power of the ingest dialog. I can have Photo Mechanic create my folders for me. I don't have to create this up here. Um, it's going into my demo folder. I can apply the metadata as well. And we'll do the uh, the ingest. Um, we'll see here. We're only It's only copying the images from the memory card that I've selected. It's not ingesting the whole card. Uh, it's created the folder here in my demo folder. And now I can do a second pass. And since these images are on my hard drive, I can start adding star ratings, uh, color classes, whatever I need to do. Um, to further refine my selections. Do it now that these images are here, um, they're safe. If I need to go back to the memory card and look for more images, it's right over here in this tab, no problem. But I've, uh, I've avoided copying them all. I've saved space on my hard drive, and now I can go on with the rest of my workflow. Uh, hopefully this helps you. Um, if you've seen errors when you try to edit on the card, uh, the reason is when you add metadata to images on the card, 
Uh, it may fill up and throw errors at you. This way is safer. It's also fast and it will get you on your way. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time.